Hi all, in our part 5 of molecular docking using Autodock 4.2.6, we are about to generate grid parameter file that is GPF. Grid parameter file means we are going to generate the 3D dimensions in our protein where we are expecting our ligand is about to bind. For this, we have to follow few steps. In order to generate grid parameter file, you have to go to grid, grid box, and a box will be generated by default. If you are following as such without any modification, then that is called as blind docking. But as per the literature, I have selected few amino acids in this protein chain which you can see highlighted here. So now we have to bring this box to this center. So for that I am trying to move by moving this we can move the position of the grid box. We have to change slowly and make sure that all selected amino acids are going to fall in the box but here I can see few of them still out but whatever I am doing still few amino acids are out means the size of the grid what we have generated is not sufficient for increasing the grid box we can select it here the number 40 we am going to change it to 50 apply you can see the change in the size and I'm going to do it for same for all three axes that is X, Y and Z. And now I'm going to change the dimensions furthermore so that all selected amino acids are going to be inside. So let me check in all here still one amino acid is outside. So let us check in all the directions. Here it is outside. Which means the size needs further increase. So I'm making it 60. Apply. And now let us try to change. I have checked from all directions and now all the selected amino acids are within the box and so this could be our final grid box with this dimensions here you can see the dimensions these are going to be peculiar for our uh, docking now the next very 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 important and difficult step go to file and close saving current if you are not choosing this you have to start from first again and then go to grid output save GPF I'm going to save this with the name of protein and ligand like 6 I 8 1 underscore win Christian dot GPF 
i'm going to save this i'm say i have given this name for my convenience there is no rule that you have to take like this you can take any one as per your convenience for our safe side if you want to save these grid parameter uh, these dimensions and all you can go to file output grid dimension file then you can save these dimensions in text format too like i am giving g or id grid dot txt and i am saving this in text format so with this we have generated the grid parameter file by the end of this session the final working folder should have the gpf file you can see it here the grid parameter file along with the text file which contains the grid dimensions so with this we have completed the generation of gpf that is grid parameter file in the next tutorial we are going to see how to generate dpf that is docking parameter file